You guys, it's Jenny Silver, and today I want to show you exactly how you can get yourself a registered trademark without an attorney. Now, many of you may not realize that you do not need an attorney in order to submit a trademark application. For some of you, hiring an attorney to do this process and advise on the things that happened before this process in order to ensure the best result may make the most sense. Application has a minimum $225 fee, and this fee is non-refundable should your application be denied. So many do value the help and guidance of an attorney in the planning and registration and application process. But for those of you that want to see how to submit this, yourself without an attorney, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So make sure that you use this video as a resource and a tool and make the best decision for your own business. The trademark application process actually is quite lengthy and it can take up to one to two years for the application to be approved and for your trademark to actually be registered. On average, businesses experience between a six to 12 month wait period to have their trademark officially registered. There's one website that you'll need to know when it comes to registering your trademark and it is USPT gov because your application can be denied and you still would have to pay that application fee and undergo another incredibly lengthy process it's incredibly important that your first step to registering your trademark is research trademark application will not be approved if there is either a similar or exact usage of that trademark already registered or if there is a similar enough trademark registered, but the same products and services. Another thing to consider here is whether or not you have a strong or a weak trademark. If you are simply collecting descriptive words or generalized terms and trademarking that phrase together, then you're going to have a weaker trademark, which is not going to be quite as enforceable or may be denied. It may not be worthwhile to undergo the application process if you have a weak trademark because all of the protections cannot necessarily be applied to or your application may be denied. The United States Patent and Trademark Office and this is where you'll be submitting your application. This is also where you can locate the research tool in order to search and see if the trademark you're trying to register is either already registered or in the process of being registered. You want to search both related terms to your trademark as well as closely related terms because your application can be denied based on those closely related terms. You'll also want to pay attention to the the particular goods and services that are noted in that application to see if they are similar to yours. Next, you will need to create an online account at USPTO.gov. Once you have created this account, then you're going to be required to complete an online identity verification process. Now you can do this by printing out a form and submitting it, but that is even more lengthy and even more time to finish up this application. So I do recommend that you do the ID dot me verification tool. Now, once your identification has been verified, then you're going to be able to create your application online. The application is going to go through a variety of different questions that pertain directly to what you are trying to trademark. Now, one important thing to keep in mind here is that the application process is going to ask for documentation and proof that you are using this trademark. You wanna make sure that you have documentation of your business using this trademark actively. Now, once you have submitted an application, you are responsible for monitoring the progress of that application yourself in the Trademark Status and Document Retrieval System, TSDR. This is available on the USPTO website. They recommend that you check the status every three to four months because if you miss an update, then you could risk having your registration be incomplete and be terminated. Once your application has been accepted and you meet the minimum filing requirements, then a serial number is going to be assigned to your application and it will then be forwarded on to an examining attorney. This may then take several months for the examining attorney to look over the application and evaluate it. If the examining attorney determines that you should not have your registration approved, then they will notify you with a letter. Additionally, if they need any further action or statements from you, then that attorney will issue you a letter and that letter must receive a response from you or your own personal attorney within three months. Otherwise, the application will be seen as abandoned. 
Next, the registration will be either denied or approved and you will be notified of its approval and publication. But it is very important to note that after the trademark is registered, the owner of the mark must file specific maintenance in order to keep it active. The applicant has six months from the mail date of the notice of allowance in which to file a statement of use or an extension request. The statement of use will be filed online at USPTO.gov. USPTO will then review the statement of use and then an examining attorney will fully review it. In order to keep your trademark active, you are required to complete regular maintenance forms shown here as well as pay regular fees in the schedule shown here.